It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's Christmas every day in <laughs> Sapporo. Christmas! Oh Jesus, I remember my oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone and yeah, this is another video from my winter vacation in Safar as you can see, snow everywhere. Um, yes, you heard me saying it begins to look a lot like Christmas, however this was January, actually January 7th to be exact. But yeah, we had many snow days, but all the time that I was in Safar, I think it snowed every day, every single day. Um, I wasn't upset, but you know, it, it, it's a bit difficult when you have to be walking in the snow, you know, how slippery it can get and it can be mad dangerous. So yeah, we had to walk up to the shrine that we're going to, but we enjoyed it, yet still being careful. Alright, so just take a walk with me as we walk up to the Fushimi Inari Shrine. When I get there, then I'll show you more. So yes, we've arrived after about maybe 15 to 20 minutes walk. <laughs> yeah, we arrived at the Fushimi Inari Shrine. Um, it's beautiful. It's mad beautiful. It's one of the picturesque places that you ever see um, of Sapporo. You see, it, it's one of the most visits when you come to Sapporo, especially during winter time. So I had to come here. It had to be an itinerary to come here to experience this. And so yeah, um, this was us now walking up to the top of it and it was mad slippery. Yeah. Actually there was a sign to say we should not walk up there <laughs> but of course we did because other people were doing it right and we wanted to go up to the top to see what the shrine itself was like but um, yeah, us walking up I was being very cautious and I was trying to walk to the side um, as much as possible because it was mad slippery. I had to stop the audio <laughs> because I was I was just every minute I was just like oh my god oh my god I don't wanna fall I don't wanna fall yeah but this is the the, the, the trek to go up it 
when I sometimes I saw some older people and they're just coming down like it's nothing I'm like okay these people were born and raised here they can do this I'm from a tropical climate place we don't have these kind of things so I and even though I've experienced the snow at my yard and everything else I don't know how to navigate this so guess what precaution so that's what I was doing on my way up it was a very beautiful day I must say um, the sun shone through whilst it was um, snowing I was just a, a lovely experience and I love the day and yeah I had to show you so as I said we got to the top of it um, it, w it was not there was not much to see but it was just a beautiful experience I had to come here I, I had to take it off <laughs> my itinerary and of the things that I must do and so I had to come here walked around and looked at the beautiful snow it was just a pretty cool and chill vibe um, other people were there coming and going um, it was just for me I felt okay with the with the with the choice of the place I it was good it was good it's a must see if you're going to visit Sapporo you cannot not go to um, Fushimi Ina, Inari um, shrine they have others in like, Kyoto and different places but of course if you come to Sapporo you have to see this especially during winter and so those are other people that that's crystal and shavon over there and it's just a, a picturesque as i said before a picturesque scene it, it's just beautiful it was absolutely lovely i enjoyed every bit of it and yeah just look around some more oh yeah that's the sun peeking through <laughs> and we were like we we're mad cold and the sun wasn't doing us doing us any justice but we thankful we are thankful for the sun regardless <laughs> but yeah beautiful day beautiful scenery and of course it's just Japanese you know the creativity and everything is just going to come into one and you're going to have a beautiful experience It's a shrine so of course they do pearls here they leave little notes or pearls written on things they have different parts where they conduct different types of rituals or pearls or whatever it is that they do um, when they come here and so that was it 
that's what you're seeing right here the different places um, not many people which I'm happy for but nevertheless we move we look we view the things that are here to see and yeah enjoyed the experience it's a must to see a must to visit if you come to Sapporo especially during winter I yeah I would never get tired of seeing it. this is just something that you just have to behold Thank you.